Hello there, friend Michael Simon. Happy to announce Sunday Day. He's agreed to join the JMA family for the coming year as our chef in residence. Yeah. It sounds so official. It does. It does. I was going to call you, George. I'm like, give me a good title. <laughs> it's a good one, right? Yeah. That one works. Also here to share some healthy recipes from his new cookbook, Fix It With Food. That's coming out uh, tomorrow. I hope you had a good yeah. Thanksgiving. I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We, uh, we had, I was telling you guys earlier, we had 25 people over. I cooked for 50 because that's what I do. Uh, but everybody seemed very happy. We gave everybody plenty of leftovers, so the celebration continued. So working holiday. Yeah. But yeah, working holiday. But I like, I have it no other way. It's my favorite holiday. I love to cook. I love to feed people. What we're going to focus on today is if you're sort of a little bit tired of cooking but still want to have something healthy right. a little bit after Thanksgiving. Yeah, absolutely. One sheet. So this is a one sheet tray meal. It is actually from my new book, Fix It With Food. So as some people know, I, I've suffered from autoimmune diseases for over 20 years now. So I have RA and I have external lupus. It's okay. That's why we have the book. We're going to fix it. So, um, which really caused a lot of inflammation in my body. So I really wanted to, with the book, I wanted to focus on food to reduce inflammation. So this is a, a recipe that will help you do that. And, and it's a one tray dish. So you can make it easy cleanup. So we have, here we just have butternut squash. We're gonna cut that in quarter. We cut it in quarters. But quarter. then with the spices, you don't have to do, we have, George, we already did it. We already did it. So, so we have, um, yeah, cayenne, cinnamon, ginger, and a little bit of smoked paprika. So the cayenne and the ginger and the cinnamon, yeah, you whisk those together, all right. And then once you whisk those together, I'm gonna put in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of cracked black pepper, and a little bit of salt. And then George, if you wanna just start brushing okay. with- What am I putting in here? Okay, okay. okay. that's what I'm gonna do. Yep. So now, as this is all getting brushed, I, what I like to do is when you cut, George is doing a perfect job. <laughs> Look, George is Greek. When you're Greek, you are born to cook. He's got it down. So you always go to a diner, you know? With the, yeah, you go to the best diner you can find. So when, the key to doing dishes like this on one sheet tray is making sure that things cook evenly. So I have bone and skin on chicken, so we cut the squash large. So that's my question, because I, I love to cook, but I actually find the one pan thing can be a little tricky, because some things are a little undercooked, some things are a little overcooked. How do we avoid that here? So what we do is, is we, we look at, like, you know, I cut the squash essentially as thick as the chicken thighs are. Okay. And you could do that visually. And then when you put it in the look, oven, look you know they're the gonna salt. cook at the same time. So you end up with crispy, juicy chicken and cooked butternut squash. This looks amazing. So this is once we seasoned it all up, which George is doing now, then we put it in a 375 degree oven until your thighs reach 160 degrees. Yeah. Use a thermometer, it's very valuable. One thing that I've learned the difference between cooking at home and cooking in my restaurants is at home we have to clean up. So Liz <laughs> insists. That's where this helps. Yeah, Liz insists that you put a little bit of foil on there so we're not scrubbing pans till the wee hours of the night. It's a hard lesson for me to learn. So tell us about this salad. So this, I like to serve this dish with just a little power salad. This is quinoa, um, spinach, tart cherries, walnuts, all ingredients that have great healing ability. And then you just take your chicken, a little bit of squash, and you have this beautiful, complete meal that is gonna reduce inflammation, make you feel better, and most importantly, as you know with a cookbook, it's gotta taste good, yeah. so it all. Yeah. When you say healing ability, like what's in the cherries? But, yeah. so, so a lot of the, the seasonings and the cherries and things that we used are anti they're re ingredients that reduce inflammation, which was big for me. But what I had to do is, I and I taught people how to do it in the book, is finding your triggers. Like for me, my triggers are dairy and sugar. Yeah. So I had to eliminate those from my diet. Some people, it's gluten, we showed you how to do that. If it's meat, we show you how to do that. So it's about finding your triggers and then cooking food that doesn't make you inflamed, for lack of better terms. Michael Simon, our chef in residence. Fixing the food is coming out tomorrow. You can get these recipes on our website. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.